I'm Turner Vossler and I'm a foot and ankle orthopedic surgeon at the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute here in San Marco. Today we're going to talk about some new and exciting ways that we're treating Achilles tendon ruptures to get you back on your feet more quickly. Well, the Achilles tendon is the big tendon in the back of your ankle joint and when it ruptures then it's essentially just a mechanical failure of the tendon so it breaks into two pieces if you will. Um, in order for the tendon to rupture, generally two things need to be present. So the first thing is a focus of what we call uh, of degeneration in the tendon or what we call tendinosis. Uh, and then the second thing is, is a contraction of the, the muscle, but what we call an eccentric contraction. So what that means is that the, um, the muscle contracts while it's physically being lengthened. So it's something that happens a lot in sports, which is why Achilles tendon ruptures are very common in sports. When you rupture your Achilles tendon, it's often quite uh, noticeable that something's wrong because people typically will describe like they feel like they got hit in the back of a leg with something or, or something of that nature. And there's often a palpable pop that, that occurs in the back of your uh, calf or the back of your leg. Um, pain, some, some people have a lot of pain. Sometimes pain's not quite as much of an issue. Um, but definitely there's a functional loss there. People feel like they can't really push off or walk on that side, definitely can't run uh, and can't jump on that side. We've actually changed the way that we do the surgery um, for some, some pretty solid reasons. Uh, historically, we just put sutures on one end and sutures on the other end and then tied them together. And that worked reasonably well, but that usually meant that there was a bigger incision and you know, more, more risk for wound issues. And so we've changed the way we do that where we make just a smaller incision up at the top, which allows us to grab that segment. And then we uh, put it down directly into the heel bone, um, which allows us to restore the tension, which is the goal of surgery. So the one unfortunate truth about Achilles tendon ruptures is that they are injuries that just require a long time to get back to normal function. E even in professional athletes who have everything optimized from a, certainly from a rehab standpoint, it can take them you know, six to eight months to get back into a normal range of strength. The primary issue that limits people after a while is just that they get profoundly weak after an injury like this. It takes about two months for the tendon to heal. Um, but then it takes often between two, you know, from two to six or eight months before people feel like they're kind of back to relatively normal. So historically, people would be non-weight bearing, so on crutches for, you know, six to eight weeks after an injury like this. Um, and what we've learned is that it's actually a lot better to get people on their feet. And typically we get them on their feet, you know, 10 days to two weeks after surgery. And that seems to come with a whole host of advantages primarily related to the, the scar tissue that forms for the healing tendon. It's just much better scar tissue, if you will. So you get a stronger tendon in the end. If you think you've injured your Achilles tendon or ruptured your Achilles tendon, uh, we'd love to help you out here at Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. We're taking precautions for uh, COVID to make sure you stay healthy. Um, give us a call at JOI2000 or go online at joionline.net.